five islands of Mozambique's Bazarutu Archipelago are part of a national park stretching more than 1,400 square kilometers. Marine biologist Andrea Marshall has been doing research here for 13 years. The nutrient-rich waters are a breeding ground for several large marine mammal and fish, such as the manta ray. In all my travels around the world, I've never encountered a location where both species of manta rays live. Uh, so this makes it such a critical habitat for manta rays, and this is one of the reasons why I've dedicated my life to doing research in southern Mozambique. Unfortunately, over the last 10 years, we lost about 88% of the population, um, and that's mainly due to gillnet fishing um, and also poaching of the animals. It's up to park rangers to make sure the protected areas are safe and secure. Hello. Tomas Manasa supervises 23 rangers for the national park. He says he needs more to cover their many jobs and patrolling duties. The communities outside the national park have no spaces where the fish can reproduce. As fish stocks decline, the pressure grows. That leads to ever greater conflicts with the fishermen from the mainland. They even encroach on the totally protected areas to go fishing. For the beauty, for the heritage of not What alternative livelihoods do the fishermen have? Well, tourism is one. Andrea Marshall and her team have invited 10 park rangers and their new boss to take part in training. It's the first time they've worked so closely together. On a map, they mark where they've seen certain animal species and compare the sightings with the researchers' data. This course is very important. If we manage to work together well on the first phase, we'll be able to negotiate a second and a third. We'll learn how to go diving ourselves and show the tourists the fish and other things. Many of them have to learn to swim first. The intensive course lasts five days. It's not unusual that the local people don't know how to swim, but many have always wanted to. It will help them protect the marine life and know the reefs better. Mozambique is, is, is making sort, sort of somewhere in the vicinity of seven to eight million dollars a year off manta ray diving tourism and I feel that you know that definitely can be an incentive you know for government to say listen this animal is worth a lot more alive than it is dead. We don't really have much time to be able to you know rebuild those numbers before they're regionally extinct here. But Mozambique has yet to place the manta ray on its list of protected species. The biologist says that would be a big step.